Good morning and welcome to today's verse. Today's verse comes to us from the book of James, one of my favorite books in the Bible. James chapter 5, verse 16, and it reads, Confess your trespasses to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. Here we have James giving an encouraging word uh, in order to be able to heal the sin-sick soul. The verses before us talks about the healing of the physical, and I have uh, applied this verse in my own life, and God has healed me, and I've seen God heal many other people in a miraculous fashion. Yes, God still heals today. You can believe it. You can count it because God is still the same, same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. But here we have a situation that is interesting, and notice it says to confess your trespasses or to confess your sins to one another. I get questions on this from time to time, and I, and I hope I'm answering it correctly. I'm not so sure that the Word of God is encouraging us to, to confess our innermost secrets and all of its intimacy and all of its ugliness to one another. However, there are times that we offend another person. We ought to confess it to that person. We may have lied, misled a person. We ought to confess it to that person. Maybe we've done something wrong to cause another person to stumble. We ought to confess it to that person. Maybe we've done it in a fashion that it has affected a group of people. It has been done, it has been done publicly. <clears throat> we should confess it to them. And notice the reason why. is that they may pray for us. Notice it says that we pray for one another that we may be healed. Here is the healing of a sin-sick soul. And it is the effective, fervent prayers of the righteous that avail much death, power and prayer. And notice that James goes on to give us this illustration to encourage us to know that we can see even the miraculous power of God's hand moving on our behalf. He uses, for example, Elijah. Elijah was a man like unto us. He had a nature like unto us. In other words, Elijah just was a plain, plain old dude. He was no different from you and I, but he had such a relationship with God that when he prayed, he prayed earnestly. He prayed fervently. He prayed, prayed believing God to move and God moves. So there is some kind of power in prayer. When you got more than one person praying for you, you got some power connecting with God in heaven and God moves on our behalf. So pray. I pray that you would meditate on this verse, that it would be a word of encouragement to you today. And as you go throughout your day, as I always say, please be safe out there and tune in again tomorrow as we consider today's verse. Amen.